Hello, Scruffy fam. How are you doing? So if you've watched our channel for a while, sorry, it's a little dark. It's nighttime. I'm going to wait till the kids go to bed to do these. But uh, uh, if you've been watching our channel for any time, you may notice that we have a couple Ruger Americans. The biggest issue that I have with a Ruger American is the stock. I really enjoy my Ruger American Hunter uh, and the stock and that uh, heavy contour barrel just make it amazing. But I also have a Ruger American in 243 and I've noticed that um, when we're loading up on the bipod it can touch the barrel and every once in a while you get a flyer. So we were able to get the Magpul Hunter stock for a Ruger American. Um, I have the Stealth Gray on my 308. It came with it. Um, this is the all black version. Uh, my wife really likes the look of that and this is primarily her rifle. So um, I'm going to go ahead and swap out these. So let me show you what we're working with here. <clears throat> Here's your standard Ruger American. Standard Ruger American with that cheap stock. And what I was talking about, see if we can get a better look here. So here on the barrel, it's a free-floated barrel. It is, but it's a very cheap plastic. So when there's any weight applied here, there's a lot of flex. I don't know if you can see that through the video, but there's a lot of flex, so even my hand doing that. And if you just compress, see how much that moves? So it makes contact with the barrel. That's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old Ruger American stock off, put on this Magpul Hunter stock, and we'll see what it looks like when it's all done. All right, guys, <clears throat> we got this uh, all switched out. Now let me show you what is actually in the Ruger American stock. So there's this honeycomb thing in here. Um, pillar bedding here. Um, just your standard plastic. All right. Um, I would say the greatest weakness of the Ruger American is this stock. Um, if you take the action in the barrel off the Ruger American and put it in a high quality stock, you've got a really good rifle. So, I've got the original stock here, nothing special to write home about. So we've got that. Um, all right, put that off to the side. And then I'm keeping the action screws in the magazine uh, because when you upgrade to this Ruger American Hunter, it now takes a different type of mag. Oh, this is heavier now too. Oh my, I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. This Ruger American with the black stock. So here is the Ruger American Hunter. Look at that. Look at that beautiful black stock. So we upgraded the magazine. It's a 10 round magazine now. Um, we upgraded to this Magpul Hunter stock. It's got M lock here and here. Barrel is definitely free floated. Um, I'm a big fan of the Magpul stock for this because it wasn't very much money. You've got a lot of options for upgrading stocks for Ruger Americans. You can go as high as twice the cost of the Ruger American. You can pay as much as you did for the Ruger American. Uh, Boyd's makes some really good ones. I think Hogue makes some. MDT makes one or two. Uh, and then Magpul makes this one. The reason that I like this Magpul one uh, is because it's not going to break the bank, but it gives you a functionality um, in a stock that is just, it's hard to beat. It really is. It's a nice aluminum stock. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's flat. It's great for bench shooting. It's good for hunting. It's got the M-lock adapters on it. You can adjust the length of pull. You can adjust the cheek height. It gives you a 10 round magazine. I mean, there's just so many things about this that are such a massive upgrade. So this will be my second Magpul Hunter stock on a Ruger American, excuse me, 
Um, I think this looks really cool. The black actually turned out really nice on this. I really like the black on this one. So, um, guys, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, follow along, and we'll see you next time.